Hello from Myrtle Beach. We are on Kings Highway, also called Business 17. We're going to take you on a driving tour and show you all of the attractions, restaurants, and stores on this road. Hi, I'm Carmen, and if you're new to our channel, we cover everything Myrtle Beach as well as the surrounding area. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So glad to have you with us. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy this ride down Kings Highway. So you can see there's a few cars out on the road. We are into the off season now, so it's not as crowded as you would expect. It's right around lunchtime right now. It's coming up on noon. And so normally, like if this was a summer, this would be completely packed. <clears throat> there are so many restaurants that so people come out to eat, like there's a Calabash Seafood Buffet, we've got tons of gift shops, stores. There are a few grocery stores as well as a few uh, ABC stores or whatever you call them in your area. Uh, if you're not familiar with South Carolina, liquor is sold only in specific stores. So you can't just go to the grocery store and buy liquor. Um, I know in some states you can do that. Um, however, you can buy beer and wine at the grocery store here. I know there's also states that you can't do that. <laughs> so you can do that here. Um, this used to be a large mall, this big vacant lot over here. It's been that way for years. Uh, nothing there. They use it sometimes for car shows and festivals, but other than that, you can see the big high-rises over here. That is Ocean Boulevard. We have a video on that as well, so I'll link that in the description below. Um, that is where all the main hotels are, Hotel Row. There's Hooks. Got fun putt-putt. We've played that one a few times. It's always fun. So what is your favorite restaurant or attraction here on Kings Highway? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. We appreciate that. Also, if you would like to see Myrtle Beach on a more regular basis than just our YouTube videos, give us a follow on Instagram. We're at Carmen and Brian on Instagram, and we do post stories on our Insta stories pretty regularly, almost every day. Uh, covering things in Myrtle Beach is not always the same things that we put here on our YouTube videos. So now we're getting close to the area that corresponds to the central part of Ocean Boulevard where the Skywell is, where the main boardwalk is, so that would be to the left of here. We get a lot of questions about parking. You're going to see a large church up here. Uh, there is some free parking in that area however um, and so it's near the boardwalk however it's a bit of a walk so if you've got a lot of stuff it's not convenient and a lot of the parking has a limit on the amount of time you can park there so while you don't have to pay you can only park for say two to three hours I can't remember off the top of my head but you can also pay to park in this large parking deck however it tends to be pricey and then there's also some street parking over there and you need to be really careful and read the meters to figure out what you need to pay because a lot of it's done sort of digitally now and it can be very confusing what zone you're parked in so just be really really careful with that and if you're staying oceanfront then you don't have to worry about any of that i mean unless you want to come to the boardwalk just for the attractions Mammy's Kitchen does have a breakfast buffet that is popular. We have not eaten there, but I know it's a popular place. Usually in the main season, there's a line out the door. That's always a sign that it's popular. So this church over here on the right is the one I mentioned that has a few uh, parking spaces around it. But like I said, if you're wanting to park long term, those may not be the best for you since the, they have some time limits on them. Uh, also, right over here to the right, it's hard to see for the cars, but there's the Grand Strand Brewing Company, and I know back behind that and Nance Plaza, the city has also added more parking that I believe is free back there as well. You've got this ropes course over here, Adrenaline Falls, and then this is a really cool, um, I think it's called Atlantica, this golf, putt-putt golf course you can see. Some people call it pup pup some people call it mini-golf, and then I found out our Canadian friends call it mini-putt, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, let me know. Yep, Mount Atlanticus. I had never heard mini-putt before, so that was a new one for me. Lots of gift stores, as you can see, and they're already starting to put up the Christmas decorations or Christmas lights. I see some bells on the street posts, street lamps. Oh, and there's Frosty on the street post. I don't know how well that'll show up since it's daytime. 
Seafood World. Yeah, lots and lots of gift shops. This drive actually is almost impossible to do in the summer because I'm talking about to film. It takes too long because it's just non-stop traffic. Uh, this time of the year, the traffic's moving pretty good, as you can see. Um, the off-season really runs... I mean, people debate this all the time, but we're definitely into it now. Uh, November through February is definitely off-season. Debatably off seasons after Labor Day before Memorial Day but now that's not really true anymore uh, we get uh, things after 2020 drastically changed and we seem to just get people year-round now um, January February are definitely the slowest months um, that that's absolutely off season but other than that we don't really have a super slow time of the year anymore got a little Christmas tree on that light post so again, you can see the hotels that are oceanfront right over there. So if you're willing to walk, a lot of this is in walking distance. Also, you might be able to see the Family Kingdom roller coaster right over there. Um, if you don't mind walking a little, you know, you can walk over here for more restaurant and shopping and entertainment options. Yeah, so there's the sign for Family Kingdom. They are closed for the season. They're one of the few attractions that completely closes for the off season. A few others do, but not much. Uh, most things stay open year round now. Like we get a lot of questions, is Barefoot Landing open? Is Broadway at the Beach open? Yes, yes, and yes. And some of the shows close down for a brief period, usually after October, and then they pick back up in March. But some of the shows now are also staying open year round. So that's uh, great. I mean, just that way you can come, maybe save a little money on your hotel and still have all of the entertainment and attractions uh, that you're interested in. We aren't big show people. Uh, we have been to the Wonders Theater Magic Show and we really enjoyed that. That's at Broadway at the Beach. Many, 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 many years ago, I went with family to um, the Alabama Theater for a Christmas show, and it was good. I can't speak to the current show because that was, I bet it was 15 years ago. There's the Dino Land Cafe. They do have sort of, I guess, animatronic dinosaurs. Yeah, there's Christmas going up right before our eyes. That's cool. And uh, also... Brian and I, again with family one year for Christmas, went to Medieval Times. Um, that is over at Fantasy Harbor off 501. Uh, so it's not in this area, but it is here at Myrtle Beach. And uh, that was a good show too. We enjoyed that. And I'm sure you know that's a chain, so they have those at all different kinds of places. More putt-putt. Do you enjoy putt-putt or mini golf, whatever you want to call it, miniature golf? Uh, let us know in the comments below and let us know if you'd like to see more videos. We do have one video of us playing through at a putt-putt course, um, so you can search for that on our channel. Um, but we'll do more of those if there's enough interest. Uh, we definitely enjoy playing putt-putt. And that's actually a fun thing to do in the off-season because a lot of these courses are still open and you definitely don't have the crowds and you don't have the sun beating down on you. So that can be a, a really good off-season activity. Got Radical Ropes Adventure Park. So definitely a lot of different activities. There should be something for everyone on Kings Highway. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.